Makers, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, welcome. I've got another advanced tutorial for you today so if you'd like to learn a new move, please keep watching. Um, so yes, I've had quite a few advanced tutorials that I've already done so I'll link some of them below and I've got a lot more coming out as well so make sure you've subscribed so you can see all of those. Now the move that we're learning today, it's a travelling move and it's like this. So very nice, very simple. Um, but it's a good one. I use it a lot because I find when I'm dancing at a restaurant, especially something like drum solos and I want to move around the tables and I want to be around my audience, it gets a bit boring to just walk all the time and the gala walk, it's very beautiful. I like three quarter shimmy, it's very beautiful, um, but it's nice to do something different. So this walk, it's an accented walk. It's a little bit complicated, so probably not for beginners, um, but a very nice move. So what are we actually doing? Firstly, remember with belly dancing, always have good posture. And what we're doing is we bring the pelvis in and out, in, out, in, out. So from the side, in and out, in, out, in, out. We're also bringing the chest up and down. So the chest from here, I'm reaching up and down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Now because it's an accent, you want to pull each move in. So rather than doing everything nice and soft, it's in, out, in, out, in, out. Up, down, up, down, up, down. Now make sure when you're coming up that it's actually up. There's a big difference between going forward and up. So you can see this is forward, like that we learned in our undulation video. So forward, but we want to go up with this one. So I'm pulling in here, spine nice and long, reaching up tall. So again, with the hips, in, out, in, out, chest up, down, up, down. Now we add in the feet. The feet are very simple. All I'm doing is step, touch, down, touch, down, touch, down. So from the side, touch up, step down, touch up, step down, touch up, step down, touch up, step down. Adding into that, we add our hips as well as our chest. So again, from the side, I step up, I pull everything in. I step down, I let everything release. Step up, I pull my chest up. Step down, I let my chest release. Step in, everything comes in. Step down, hips come back. Step up, chest comes up. Down, chest comes down. So when I'm doing it fast, it looks like this. In, out, up, down, in, out, up, down, in, out, up, down, in, out, up, down, in, out, up, down. Yeah, so this is a really nice move, especially with drum solos when you're trying to move around a space. You want to keep things interesting, but I do actually use this a lot. Now for your hands, I like to have my, hair, my hands under my hair for this one actually, because then, as you can see, things are out of the way, you can see the move, and it's very nice. As well, if you're in a crowded space, it's a lot harder to have your arms out. And because it's simple, you want to keep the focus on your hips and your chest. It's nice to have very simple arms with this one. So let me know what you think. I hope you like this move. If you have, then please give the video a thumbs up. And thank you very much for watching. And make sure you subscribe because I do have many more advanced tutorials coming out. Thanks very much for watching and happy dancing.